It's also important to note that Avello Airlines is not affected and that flights with Avello are running smoothly from Tweed New Haven Airport now, but it's not just our, our airports impacted by the outage. Flights all across the Northeast and the country have now been halted or delayed. In fact, we have a look right here at airports in Boston, Newark, and Baltimore. Passengers also waiting for flights to be back up and running. And issues with train travel right now as well. The MTA tells us train and bus arrival time information is not available. And the issue is also impacting boarding and ticket information, but again, trains and buses are operating. Just uh, keep in mind, there's a pretty good chance they are not operating on time. The widespread outage also had a big impact really all over the state with several state offices shut down for the day. Chief investigative reporter Sam Smink joins us now with the latest details from the Weathersfield DMV. I'm imagining teenagers disappointed they couldn't get a license today, perhaps. We didn't hear from any teenagers, although we did hear from one person who was upset they weren't able to take their road test. But here at the DMV, we're told everything is pretty much back to normal. Still, as you mentioned, they weren't the only ones that had to shut down today. Though it's usually a good day heading into the weekend, Friday wasn't the best day for Hiro Tenasaka. No, no luck. He just bought a new car and was trying to register the vehicle at the Weathersfield DMV. But because of system outages, he wasn't able to. I needed the vehicle to be running. I mean, without a plate, I can't be driving around, so it is frustrating. The DMV warned people early this morning to expect delays because of the crowd strike outage. By noon, Commissioner Tony Guerrera said most of the problems had been fixed. The team really met early this morning. We were able to fix a lot of the issues ourselves. And believe it or not, we're open for business and we're not turning people away. There are some things, obviously, like with certain uh, banking issues, which is out of our control because we're dealing with the banks, like credit card payments sometimes. He said workers inside went old school. If something wasn't able to be done by computer, they turned to good old paper and pen. Make sure that a customer that does come in gets their transaction done. And if we can't do it, then take their name and number down. The Department of Public Health, however, said their Office of Vital Records would be closed for the day. The same for the Department of Social Services resource centers across the state. Something Anthony Gorzuski was shocked to learn when he showed up to apply for food stamps. I'm not on it right now, and I have, and I really need them right now. Well, I'm just really confused right now because of what's going on right now. Hospital systems and law enforcement agencies across the state tell the I team they didn't have any problems. Now, how long will this last? On the state's website, a statement says in part that we do not have a timeline for complete recovery at this time. Governor Ned Lamont tweeting early this morning, our state IT staff have been working since very late last night to address any outages related to the global crowd strike incident. We've been coordinating with the federal government, other states, towns, utilities, and hospitals on any impacted systems. If you plan to visit a state office this weekend or on Monday, you are asked to check the state of Connecticut's website or social media to see if they are open. For now, reporting live in Weathersfield, Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.